Cori Soish or your upper cauldron is thought to be found in the head. This cauldron is upside down and empty at birth and it's the toughest to turn. Developing your spiritual gifts, connection to nature and your spiritual team as well as your lower two cauldrons is the best way to experience this cauldron writing itself and filling up. And as this cauldron writes itself, you will receive the Imbaz Ferozne or divine knowledge of the Celtic druids, poets, seers and shamans, whatever word you like to use. What I often find, though, is that there's a tendency to want to bypass the work of the first two cauldrons, certainly the second cauldron, and leap straight into developing spiritual gifts and connection. This approach can often go wrong and can be the cause of shamanic ego taking hold. So a person may gain some insight and knowledge, but the cauldron will be unsteady and full of things other than imbas for Rosne. This can become dangerous and result in practitioners who abuse power in their communities. Another sign of untended lower cauldrons is when a person discovers a spiritual gift but really lacks the confidence and drive to use that gift for the good of their community. So let me know if this resonates for you and if you would like to hear more about the three cauldrons.